Hi students, I have a one more video from my channel. The topic is cancer. You know that cancer is the dreadful disease which cause death among the individuals. Here is the cancer, how it is happens and what is the cancer, what are the types of cancer, we are going to learn that. Here generally human tissue are the cells which have a property, the special property, the human cells which have, you know that, the cell division and cell differentiation means what growth and cell growth and cell division cell growth and cell division which are the controlled or regulatory process which all cells going to divide under the regulatory fashion regulatory manner so here the human being all cells which are having the all cells they sensors the cell growth and cell differentiation will be regulated manner so when the cell when the cell lost their controlled cell division if it is controlled uncontrolled cell division then it can cause the cancer uncontrolled cell division it means cell growth and cell differentiation in a regulatory manner in some cases because of the some carcinogens carcinogenic agents because of that reason the cell lost their ability it is undergoes the uncontrolled cell division it leads to the number of numerous cells are formed and as a tumor the tumor will be formed so here this should be you can say it's a cancerous tumor but here the general cell have a one of the property contact inhibition cell should have a contract inhibition contract inhibition means when cell is divided into two cells the neighboring cells which are one to one they contract then it will be controlled but here during cancer the cells should not the cells lose the contract inhibition because of that proliferation of number of cells because of the uncontrolled cell division it form as a cell mass we call as a tumor it is tumor right generally you know that cancer divided into the tumors which are the tumors are divided into two types benign tumor benign tumor and malignant tumor benign tumor is not cancerous it is not dangerous we can easily remove it and cure it but here malignant tumor is carcinogenic in nature cancerous in nature it has a property of metastasis metastasis means the cells uncontrolled proliferation takes place due to that the cells become a neoplastic in nature these neoplastic cells they spread the whole over the body through the fluids and they should be strive with the normal cells it cause the cancer to the particular area or the tumor to the particular area so here the neoplastic nature the spreading of these spreading of cancer cells we call as a metastasis so that's the reason malignant tumor is very dangerous which you can say cancerous right then here carcinogenic agents carcinogenic agents means cancer causing agents carcinogenic agents means cancer causing agents carcinogens 
which are physical agents and chemical agents and moreover the biological agents first one physical agents second one chemical agents third one biological agents these agents can cause the cancer generally you know that in our normal cells also they have a some oncogens but when they are react with this carcinogenic agents they should be as a neoplastic in nature so physical agents you know that x rays and gamma rays which are the now which are the ionizing radiation and uv rays also ultraviolet rays which are the non ionizing rays these can damage the dna when the dna damaged automatically it become as a cancerous in nature which are the chemical agents first they discovered that identified in that tobacco tobacco this tobacco which cause the lung cancer smoking of these cigarettes and uh, chewing of this tobacco causes the lung cancer it has a chemical agent biological agents the virus which can cause the cancer called as a viral oncogens viral oncogens virus which can cause the cancer called as a viral oncogens these genes the genes in virus we call as a viral oncogens oncogenes generally in our normal cells also number of viral oncogenes are there we call as a cellular oncogenes we call as cellular oncogenes this is also called as proto oncogenes proto oncogenes we call as a c o n c these normally inactive normal cells have a these there. proto oncogenes when they are activate then only it may cause the neoplastic in nature that we can said to be as a tumor so here how to detect the cancer for that the first detection is by using biopsy detection of cancer biopsy it means we have to extract the tissue which is what you call cancerous one which is a cancerous one which you have doubt that should be how to detect and how to take out from tissue things slides and how to study the so pathological studies in this studies they will observe the cell cycle and growth and differentiation if it is shows the uncontrolled proliferation they may confirm it should be as a the biopsy which is uh, suspected tissue which shows the neoplastic nature then they confirm the what you call that cancer and moreover the ct scan computed tomography and mri magnetic resonance imaging by using these two techniques also x ray and ct scan mri we can detect is the what you call the location and size of the tumor all the things after biopsy they go for the radiography radiography by using ionizing and non ionizing radiation to kill the neoplastic cells without harming of the remaining cells and moreover the chemotherapy by using chemicals we can kill the what do you call the intravenous they will send the chemicals that's known as the chemotherapy and immunotherapy okay by immunizing hormones also we can control and the pet scan also there by using this pet scan 
scan by using this scan we have to know the whole body metabolic activities by using the pet scan